Well, hello everyone. This is Grace of GB Maltese, and I hope you're doing finer than frogs hair today. Um, <clears throat> today is January the 12th, Tuesday, 2021, and this is the first video I have made this year. Um, I've been spending time thinking, contemplating, reflecting on things that happened last year, and if you've been with me, you know last year was... Um, rough with my family. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I got to spend uh, about a week of that time at my daughter's. I had such a good time visiting with her. Anyway, this is what I'm working on. I have been working on other things besides this, but this is my little dachshund from Die Moon Shop and it's done with candy drills. And I thought, I'm going to work on this some today. My sister has a very good friend who has a dachshund that looks just like this. In fact, when my daughter got married, her Pomeranian, she has a cream-colored Pomeranian, was her flower girl. And her best friend's dachshund was the ring bearer. So that was, um, it was, it was so cute. We had someone walk them down with a leash, and they were dressed up and just as cute as they could be. So, I want to get that done. But I've been doing quite a bit of crocheting also. Um, I've made a blanket for my husband, one for my brother, Greg. And then I am crocheting these different squares. They're a... I've got a... This is not even all that I've done so far. And these do take a little bit of time for each one. And what is so interesting is that every one of these comes from the same color, okay? It, this is actually coming from a Lion Brand Mandala. And these, uh, as I crochet them, I pull along and the colors change. And you never know what's going to come out next. These are not all the ones I have made. I will be sewing these together using a whip stitch. If you are into crocheting, you'll understand what that is. And it's going to be huge. I'm doing this for my daughter as an afghan. She can use on her couch, her bed, or whatever she would like to put it. So I thought I'd show you that little bit I've been doing. Um, now I'm going to work on this a little bit more. I would like to, like I, as I said, give this to, she's one of my daughter's best friends, and her dachshund looks just like this, and he's getting older, gosh, um, I guess he's maybe 15 now, so I thought this would be a really pretty piece to give to her. Um, so let me put this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm working on the part where there are question marks because there's quite a bit to do on that. So let me get this. Here's the picture, as you can see from Die Moon Shop. And there it is. Isn't that adorable? And then this has 40 colors. It is done in their candy drills. And that's the dachshund in the Van Gogh style. Isn't that cute? So, let me work on that and chat with you a little bit. I've been thinking of different things that I want to do with my channel. With You know, you start thinking of different things in your life and things that you enjoy doing. Everybody likes something different. I will still be doing some diamond painting, of course. I had mentioned before that I want to read to you as I'm diamond painting, and I will do that doing a voiceover. I don't think I can read and diamond paint at the same time. Someone asked me how I was going to do that. And I thought, you know, I didn't, really did not explain that very well. So that is what I'll be doing. And 
I have been looking to find stories that are in the public domain. It's because just like our diamond paintings, books and stories are copyrighted. So I have found a place to find books and stories. I want to do mystery stories. I like mysteries. And I thought I would do stories, and I can do books later if you would like me to. Just to have something for you to listen to. And I'm thinking the first story I want to do is The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. It's one of my favorites. And what I love to do animation with my voice when I'm doing stories. And I miss doing that when I would read to my kids at school. And I hope that you, you know, might get a little a bit of enjoyment out of that. That while you're diamond painting, crocheting, or whatever you might be doing, you can listen to me read to you. Oops, let's go down there. So, you know, if you don't like it, you don't have to listen to... It's kind of like TV. You pick and choose the channels you want to watch and the types of videos you want to watch. Some people love to see unboxings and some people don't. Some people like whipping chats and some people don't. So um, I'll still do some whipping chats like this. So I'll just kind of tell you what's going on in life. I have a and I have a repertoire of funny stories that have happened to me in the past in teaching and in just, you know, regular everyday life. And since life is still going on, there's things that still happen today that can be quite amusing. Sometimes they're not as funny as other times, but we're going to try to focus on the better things in life so I mean we all have we all have times in our life that are just not so grand right right um, and I did I'm not sure some people had mentioned um, me reading Agatha Christie and if I can find some of her stories in public domain I will do that I know she has a couple of books in the public domain so that would have to be books I would have to read and what I might do is just spend time recording of the book in phases so that they could all go out at one time so you're not waiting for the next day and the next day and the next day for the chapters you can read them at you can listen to them at the leisure at your leisure you can put your um, you can put Oops, videos that you don't have a chance to watch, you can put them in watch later. And it saves where you left off when you're, where you uh, watch the video. And if you, of course you have to be signed in and have an account, otherwise it would be kind of hard to save those videos for you. So, and they don't do anything with your account. You do not have to have a YouTube channel to have an account. You don't have to be making videos, but um, when you make an account, it's so that you can keep up with who you're watching and all that jazz. <clears throat> and then I can, um, you know, put my videos out and you can decide which ones you want to watch, which people do anyway. Some people do not watch my whipping chats, and that's fine. Um, but I have a lot of people who tell me they enjoy listening to them, so I will make them. Now, when I was at my daughter's, I went the day after Christmas, and I stayed that ne the, the next week with her. And we... It rains. Oh, my goodness. I think it rained almost every day. The first couple of days, it didn't. And we went to the stores, of course, with our masks on. There wasn't a lot you can do. And I find when I have the masks on, and this is weird, I just feel almost like I'm suffocating. On Some days are worse than others. And I know it's because I do have asthma. Um, it's aller 
allergy related asthma and depending on my allergies will depend on how bad it is. So sometimes I feel like I'm almost suffocating and that's not a real comfortable feeling. So um, I'd have to go outside and <laughs> take a few deep breaths. But we enjoyed just going around doing things and then we did all kinds of facials. Um, we did mud masks. We did sheet masks. We did the Hanicure mask. Have any of the other any of you out there done the Hanicure mask? This was not our first time to do it. Let me tell you something. When you put that on and, and it works, that, that thing really does work. Um, it will tighten your skin up. And if you Put it around your eyes. You know, you don't put it right there close to your eye, but you put it under your eye a little bit. It starts pulling your eyelids back away from your eye. And I'll, you don't put it on your upper lid at all. I'm talking about under, um, underneath the eye. It starts pulling your eyelid back a little bit. Boy, I looked, I looked pretty freaking scary. Yeah, I wasn't going to take pictures of that. <laughs> you don't want, nobody wants to see something looking like that. I didn't want to see it either. Um, but once you wash it off and we did a sheet mask afterward to get really moisturized and I tell you what it really does make your face feel really smooth and nice they are not cheap so you can't do them all. you know they tell you do them every week well I don't quite do it every week no, if I do it once a month, and we're going somewhere there. Um, but we had fun doing that. I love to do different masks, the sheet masks. We got this um, really nice feeling face mask, and you get a lot of that in a jar. So um, this one does not dry hard. It just stays wet, and it was kind of luminous green. I felt like a mermaid because it was such a pretty, pretty green. Almost a teal green, I guess. Beautiful color. So I, I felt pretty. I said, hmm, maybe I should just go out looking like this all the time. <laughs> but that was fun, and uh, we, I had, uh, we had foot masks, and... Then, uh, we had thought about going in to um, do some, have tea somewhere. Well, then, you know, you get to thinking about things. Oh, I hear my phone ring in just a minute. There. Okay, I paused and then I turned it back on. It was my brother Greg. I'll call him back in just a little bit. Uh, okay. Now, I was talking about doing the different masks and things, and we were talking about going out and having tea. So what we did was we just ordered, I had ordered a bunch of different kinds of teas, loose leaf teas, um, some in tea bags, and we tried out different teas on our own at the house. And we enjoyed that. We got some that were really good, some that didn't have much taste at all. So I found out my favorite one, and I was trying the rooibos tea. That's spelled R-O-O-I-B-O-S. It is actually um, from a plant in South Africa, and it's not really a tea, but you steep it just like you do tea. And I bought some of them loose leaf and some of them in the bags. And they are full of antioxidants. Well, I found my very favorite one so far that I've tried was from Harney and & Sons, and it was a cinnamon tea. Very, very strong flavor. If you like cinnamon, you would love it. And the cinnamon had such a sweet taste that you didn't need to put any sweeteners, nothing in it. It was delicious. Very, very good. Um, 
The others we tried, to me, didn't ha have as much ta taste as that one. So, I like a, I like a very robust <laughs> tea. I like a lot of flavor. So, we'll see what else I can find that I might like. And it's relaxing to drink the tea. It has no caffeine in it, so I can drink that. If I have caffeine, I end up almost climbing the walls. <laughs> so, no caffeine for me. I have enough anxiety problems without that. <laughs> and it doesn't work. It doesn't work nicely with me. So, do without the caffeine. And I've tried, I like different herbal teas. But um, when I read how beneficial the rooibos tea is, I'm like, mm -mm, I'm going to try that out. And, you know, I'm trying to be healthy. It's a new year, so I thought, well, I'm going to try this out. And it's been, for Texas, it's been cold. Let me tell you something. Yesterday, um, well, let's see, Sunday, it didn't get out of the 30s all day. That's cold for us. <laughs> It's cold for us Southerners. We're not used to that. Um, some places got snow. I didn't get any at my house. And, and not a whole lot of snow, okay? We're, we're not talking, you know, a lot of inches. Some places maybe got one to three inches of snow. Some places might have got more than that, but it, uh, that would have been quite a ways from where I live. So that was nice to drink some hot tea and stay inside and my husband and I just watched some old classic movies um, I like to watch things on TCM get off of there <laughs> starting to hang on to my glue dot I just have to rub it on my hand this is what I do to try to get some of the sticky off my glue dots to not maybe hang on quite so tight anyway um, and we watched some Alfred Hitchcock. Um, how many of you remember the Alfred Hitchcock Hour? I have found those on regular YouTube. You can watch. You can watch the Alfred Hitchcock Hour or Alfred Hitchcock Presents. So I'm enjoying watching some of those. If you like mysteries and that type of thing, let's see. This may be a little too bright. I hope you can see. I don't know if you can see the letters that are on here, but I think you can see me putting them down anyway. I am actually using my A4 light pad that is rechargeable. So it's not plugged into anything. I like this little thing. I really do. Because um, I can take it and move it around very easily. I have my, that big A2 on my tabletop easel, and then I have my A3. I didn't pull that out to use here. This was just something I just grabbed. So I use all the different ones I have for different things. This one is perfect if you wanna take somewhere. I did not end up taking any diamond paintings with me to my daughter's. I just did some crochet. And when I showed her the squares that I had been making, I'd been starting those squares a couple of years ago, and then I got so much into diamond paint, and I hardly picked crochet up at all. Now I'm trying to do a little bit of each because I have some people wanting some things that I crochet. And you just need to have, at least for me, I need to have more than one thing that I work on most of the time. And I find that I can take my crochet or coloring or other things, especially crochet, I can take that with me more easily. You're not having to load up all the drills. Uh, like if you're going to the doctor's office, I could take one of those squares into the doctor's office and crochet away because I'm using just that one skein of yarn and my crochet hook, of course. So, 
got to have different things to do. And I've asked people before what other things they did besides diamond painting, and I've had people tell me all kinds of interesting things that they do, and I think that's fantastic because diamond painting is fun. I, I do enjoy it. It's very relaxing, and you get some beautiful pictures that you can hang up. They're very easy to frame. I have some framing videos if you haven't seen those. And I just do them myself. I, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money because I want to save my money on my craft. Right? So. Anyway. Just kind of. I'm just talking just a hodgepodge of stuff because I haven't been on here in a while. So I like I said had different things on my mind. Uh, my last video was me framing my brothers, my brother Daryl, who, you know, that I lost to cancer, and I had so many wonderful comments, and I want to thank all of you who left such amazing comments and such kind words to me. I want to thank you so much. You have no idea how much that brightened my day, lifted my spirits. It really was very kind of all of you to do that. So, <clears throat> let's see. I'm trying to make sure I stay on my question marks. There's a bunch of question marks in here. Let's see here and I'm using my tray that I got from uh, I think it's 3D Wilson Designs or Wilson's 3D Designs I really like it it's nice I like that you can put a cover on here when you're gonna pour them out you can put the cover on and then I'm fall out it's really nice okay let me let me get them in a little bit better line so I can pick them up a little bit better and I can just set it right here next to where I'm working because I have enough drills down otherwise I would be putting I usually use my silicone release papers on this but you can use parchment paper also just make sure it's the non-stick kind That's such a satisfying sound. I'm still enjoying I'm using my glue dots. Oh, come, come off of there now. Just don't be so stubborn while I'm telling people I like you. I just kind of rub it on my hand a little bit. And when it's not, it gets to where it's not so sticky, I just put another one in there. And I am using an everlasting tip and don't be sticking pointy things in there to get it out. Once this gets dry, you'll be able to get in there and just pull it out. But I just put a new glue dot on top of it once it's not picking them up. I don't change them out every time. You don't need to. You'd be wasting your, your glue dots because you're not using those that are stuck down there in the bottom. You don't use those at the time. And they will eventually loosen up in there and they'll just pull right out and you can put all new fresh stuff in there if you want. But there are so many different things out there to use. Use what makes you happy. That's what I always say. Um, people ask me what I, I'll tell you what I use. Now the one thing that I can say that I won't go back to using uh, anything but these everlasting tips. I just love them. They are fantastic you can get um, you can get more glue and sticky stuff in there and they do not bend they will never bend I've been using this one for quite a while and this one is just the one that you put in the plastic tip I took the brass tip out and replaced it I also have the 
all-in-one pieces that I've used in some of my videos. I just picked this pen up because I liked it. And not all of your pens will hold the one all-in-one piece. Sometimes you can scrape the inside out of your pen and get them in there. But you don't have to do that. So it, like I said, it's been cold. <laughs> it's cold for us here in Texas, I'll put it that way. Um, I know other places, you're probably in the negative numbers or in the teens or less. But today we got up into like 52. Yay! <laughs> it was nice. I didn't have to um, even turn the heater on. I, I have a space heater that I use when it's not as cold. I don't crank the big heater up real high because it, it dries my nose and my throat and everything else, else out. How about the rest of you? Do you find that when you have to turn the heat on, it kind of dries you out? Your skin, your lips, <laughs> some more lip, put more, some more lip chap on. Chap, chapstick, boy. Can't talk today. It's from not having made a video in a while. I tell you, it does make a difference when you haven't done it in a while. You get on here and sometimes you forget what you're doing. But I, I have, I have lots of things to still open and show you guys that I never opened last year. I just never got around to it. So, for those of you who like to see unboxings, I will have some of those. I'm looking forward to, like I said, doing some reading. And I have talked in the past about doing. Some, maybe some other little crafts. Um, what kinds of things are you guys interested in? I enjoy doing crochet. I also enjoy doing coloring. But I've done almost every craft you can think of. I used to do county cross stitch. I've done latch hook rugs. Needle point. I've done oil paintings. I've done acrylic paintings. Those were a long time ago, and I really probably won't go back to that because I don't want to purchase all the paints again. That gets expensive, let me tell you. Some of these crafts get expensive, don't they? I mean, you know, if you do any craft, it does cost some money to do it. You don't have to buy the most expensive things out there, but... Sometimes we think, oh, I just want that so badly and save up for it and, and get it. So, sometimes, you know, it's kind of fun to save up for things and just get it as you can afford them. You don't have to have it right away. I know sometimes we feel like it, don't we? Really feel like it. I don't have anything else planned going anywhere coming up. Oh, wait. well, <laughs> I take that back. I am going for a mammogram next week. Joy, joy. I can hardly wait for that. Oh, and uh, also my daughter. Some of you may have listened to my video about this. She had blood tests done, and she found out she has some kind of autoimmune disease. So she'll be going to her endocrinologist. Well, she's never been to this one. Uh, but she's going to one on the 20th, which is next week. And she will also be going to a rheumatologist on February the 9th to find out what's going on. Poor thing. Uh, while I was there, she breaks out into hives. We're talking big whelps. When I was there, they were really bad. They were not just in one area. They And they don't go away now. They just stay there. She, um, she had them on her arms, her legs, her torso her neck. They were also going on her face and on her scalp. Not, um, she said the next week after I'd left, they were starting to calm down a little bit. She said they seemed to get worse around the 
middle of the month. Well, the middle of the month is coming back around again. <laughs> and they'll be rough for a little while and calm down a little bit. But she joined a Facebook group that told different things that different people use to help the itching of the hives. Because you get to where you can't itch. I mean, you can't sleep. You, you're just miserable. And she... She purchased some of those different things. She'd been using a lot of cortisone, and that wasn't working for long periods. I forget the names of some of the stuff, but one of the things people mentioned was being gay. And on her areas that itch really bad, she'll put it on there. She said, yeah, it burns, but it's better than itching all the time. You know, it'll burn when she first puts it on, but then it'll kind of control the itching for a while. So, hopefully, she will find out what's going on, and she can get some help. Because, I know it's, it's miserable. I felt so bad for her. I just wanted to take it all away. But that's kind of how we are with our kids. Grandkids. I don't have any grandkids, but if you have grandkids, nieces, nephews, um, kids that, you know, you're just, have, your friends have. Um, you don't, you hate to see anybody suffer. But, I mean, she's, she's grown. She's, she's not a child. She's, she works. And she lives out on her own. And anyway, she is just, just suffering, poor thing. I'm glad she's able to, that she works from home because her, that itching, I don't know. Sometimes if you're, you're itching really bad, you don't feel like putting on a, you know, some certain clothing. It's kind of, kind of hard on you. So I'll be hoping and praying that who this these doctors she goes and sees can maybe figure things out her we know her thyroid numbers were real crazy also so it could be something with a thyroid and they'll be able to figure out what needs to be done and I know a lot of you have autoimmune diseases of all different sorts there are so many different ones I I'm just amazed at how many there are. And some of you um, have to take medication that affects your immune system. So sometimes sometimes life can just, you know, be, be tough. And I'm going to just try to... Try not to talk about things and, you know, tr try to talk about other things to get your mind off of it but I just want you to know that I do feel for you and um, I know a lot of you have anxiety like I do and sometimes it keeps you in and not wanting to go outside and that's that's another problem that a lot of us suffer from so we all have different issues that we deal with so we need to be kind to each other and Think of kind things to say and not be, you know, rude and ugly. So, and sometimes people leave a comment on my underneath that can be kind of rude. And, and I've just gotten to where I'll just delete it. it I'm not going to, I am not going to worry about it. You know, maybe they're having a bad day, but they don't know who I am. And I don't need to. I don't need to look at it. I mean, I'll have, well, have already seen it, but nobody else needs to see it. Because a lot of times it doesn't have anything to, to do with anything that's going on in my channel. Sometimes people leave a comment and I want to put, uh, did you even watch the video? Because I think some of them don't. I think they just put something down and <laughs> they'll say, well, where, where did you get such and such? And, you know. It, it may be right underneath the video, or I've mentioned it in the video, so. Uh, I don't mind people asking things. I, I've never minded that. W when it's something that is legitimate. 
and I try to answer your questions. You know, I might not know everything. <laughs> Never said I knew it all, but I can try to find out. So I'm thinking that I will let you go. I don't want to stay on here too long. I know you have other things that you want to do is decide to listen to me just ramble on here and I'm hoping to um, do a some more whipping chats and some more I'll just diamond paint and have let's look at this now yeah look at there look at there I'll do stories uh, I did sing on my last video a little bit and some of you told me just sing on, so you never know when I might break out into song. But isn't that sweet? I think she will like this. She's a um, into fashion. She's a professional shopper, and for people, help them shop for clothes that look good on them. She and I. Um, she worked. With, she stayed with my daughter, and they worked. Uh, she worked with her a little bit, cleaning out her closet and. Tell her the things look good on her, and she's going to go back and help her pick out some new stuff. So, I might need her to help me. Except I don't go anywhere. Nobody is right now, but I think we're going to be able to before long. I think that's, that's going to be coming, hopefully, in the near future. Let me turn this off. Oh, this, in case you're wondering, this is my little pad, and it pushes on the side. It's just a little A4, but it works. I just move it around to go along with this. And it's easy to just put it away when I'm done. Okay, well, I hope that you are having a lovely day, night, evening, whatever it may be. And I wish you many blessings. I hope this is going to be the most wonderful, blessed, happy, healthy year you've ever seen. That any of us have ever seen. We're going to be, try to stay positive. I love you guys. You take care and be good. Bye.